Hey guys, today I am going to talk about a video Alpha Investment made where, you know, it's very negative on Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering, it's title actually, Magic the Gathering is in trouble. And then he shows the Hasbro stock. Now, Hasbro is much more than just Magic the Gathering or even Wizards of the Coast. Hasbro, I would imagine Transformers, Power Rangers, Barbie, my Little Pony. I think Barbie, I don't know if Barbie's Hasbro or is that something else, but they have a lot of intellectual property and that's where most of their value comes from. So when there's a big Transformer movie, yeah, they're gonna sell more Transformers than Magic cards. It's just that simple. When there's a, you know, My Little Pony craze and bronies and stuff, they're gonna sell a lot more than of that product than any Magic the Gathering secret lair or something like that. So is magic in trouble? And is there something we can do about that? Yeah, I absolutely agree with him. Magic is in a lot of trouble. Um, and you look at the economy, the economy is not doing super well. Uh, inflation is a little lower, but 7 point, I think it was a 7 .7, 7 7.9 is still really, really high for inflation. And there's nothing really to put money into. You know, it, it just constantly goes down. There's no safety, gold, crypto, these assets, you know, crypto is viewed as this, oh, this, if the stock market goes down, crypto will go up, but crypto behaves the same way as stock market, mainly because the people who have put money into crypto are actually on the stock exchange, BlackRock and Fidelity and all these other uh, soft bank, uh, these big, you know, the people who have stocks in large quantities also have Bitcoin or have crypto in large quantities. So it's, you know, when they talk about DeFi, but that's not really for this, the discussion to have today. Maybe we can have it in a live stream or something about the ethics of crypto and whether or not they actually practice what they believe. So back to Magic the Gathering, is it dying? Is it in this horrific place right now with no return? I believe that this is a very, when you chase profit and you get profit, the collector's edition, the set edition, you know, the set edition is six less booster packs for more money. And then you have the collector's edition that is even less, I mean, it is 24 less packs for triple the money. You can see where this is going, right? And then all these secret layers, I think we have 13 secret layers. Post Malone's got multiple secret layers coming out. You know, he's got his own secret layer and then he has the, uh, whatchamacallit, the land set that he drew scribbles on. Very reminiscent of Gary Vandachuk. Things are definitely not great. Things are definitely going to be, um, how, how uh, I'm trying to put it in very nice, uh, a very nice way. Things are gonna get much worse before they get better. And it's not even about being a diamond hand or holding it. I think a lot of people don't wanna be part of the future of magic. Uh, would that be Rudy Chan? Rudy Chan looks more disheveled every video. And you know, every video he's got a new setup, you know, of boxes that he has complete cases to the ceiling. And it's a little disturbing because they're stacked in such a way that I don't, I personally don't think it's safe. And we know that he has Hasbro stock. He cannot be feeling so good about Magic as an investor. I feel what he's feeling is what a lot of bigger whales feel. It's what I feel as well, because I have the same type of boxes, obviously much less of them than he does and they cannot sell. There's nobody in the marketplace who would wanna buy them. Like I said before in my live, it's a volume play. It is a volume play. And the volume is, okay, cool, we have these boxes, they kind of look like they went up in price, but how are we gonna move a hundred of them? Bentley, come here, Bentley, come here. Bentley? Yeah, it's, you know, when you have three dogs and a cat, it's uh, very difficult to make videos and I, I can't do the live streams no more, even though I know you guys like them. I think we concurrent, I think it was like 145 concurrent at the height of the Alpha Investment live stream and that went really, really well. But hey, this is where we are, right? 
Yeah, I agree with Alpha Investments. I don't think the majority of Magic players are going to be in this game for long term. I, 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 you know, one of the things that we looked at actually not this live stream, two live streams ago, and I never knew this. Autumn, the Mythic Champion One winner, the the person who was on Fortune 500, she was in all these magazines for being the first card game uh, trans non-binary individual to win. Uh, she was also the one who canceled Teresa Nielsen. I mean, she had incredible power and she was being paid by Wizard of Coast under contract to stream on Twitch. And to my surprise, she doesn't even have a Twitch channel today and her Twitter is like 500 people and she doesn't even tweet. Erin Campbell, who was big part of Magic Mike's, she's no longer part, she doesn't even, she didn't come back to Twitter. What I'm saying is when the people leave if you don't actually love Magic and you no longer get the money that Magic is giving